So before digging more and more, we need to hold here and explain some theoretical concepts and definition. For that purpose, we have the common radar general concepts chapter. So please pay attention, take all notes needed and take into account that, okay? This will be the base of all electronic warfare and radar product implementation that we will mention in the future later on <laughs> later on the course so here we go firstly as you may know radar acronis is coming from radio detection and ranging this detection and ranging based on electromagnetical emissions of course secondly duty cycle is the fraction of time a radar is transmitting radar radars don't transmit all time 24 7 usually they change their operating modes changing duty cycle power emitted or transmitting and so on according to the target of course the radar is looking for third rf systems typically implement either continuous wave or pulse signals for continuous wave systems, the RF is continuously present. This includes amplitude, frequency, and phase modulated signals. For pulse systems or pulse signal systems, bursts are emitted, transmitted. Train of pulses, therefore, the RF is present between bursts. Fourth, here typically signal parameters which characterize system frequency, pulse width, pulse amplitude, pulse repetition frequency, pulse repetition interval, and antenna revolution period. Okay. Fifth, signal parameters which can be modified in time, frequency, pulse repetition interval, and antenna revolution period. So please do remember these mentioned parameters. They will be mentioned in the following slides. Here we have one and two ways radar equations. Okay, how can we understand this? Well, imagine this situation. One ground-based radar emits and received receives echoes from any type of platform, vessel, fighter, tanks, and so on. This is two ways radar equation system, transmitting and then receiving the echo. Monostatic means the transmitting radar is in the same location as the receiving. In the contrary, if transmitting and receiving radars are located in different positions, that is considered as V-static radar. As it is shown, the equations consider both path, radar target, and target to radar. On the other side, one-way radar equation is related to detection system. Example, ECM, as mentioned before. Here, imagine a surveillance helicopter. Sensors will receive radar signals. Therefore, this system is not echo base we received intercept and analyze signal signals directly coming one way from the radar example uh, any primary ground based radar if you read carefully these equations you will find out what we just mentioned i would highly recommend having a look into the source referenced below there you will find several examples and exercises to put in practice all equations. So please let me know in comments, email, whatever section, if a separated course should be created discussing about all these theoretical uh, problems. For the time being, let's move on. So here we have more theory, theory related to signal parameters man just mentioned two slides before. Okay, so firstly, duty cycle we have here the relation between power average power peak pulse with pulse repetition interval pulse 
width and pulse repetition frequency. On the right, pulse train over time, which is basically pulse radar signals. On the other side, related to continuous wave signals, here we have a summary of some modulations in both domain time and frequency. On top left, an unmodulated carrier, this is simply a sinusoid in time and therefore what we call a tone in frequency. Example, 10 GHz. Top right, frequency modulated. As it is depicted in time, the frequency changes for each time period. Therefore, in frequency domain, as different tones as frequencies in the time domain. On the bottom, we have depicted two amplitude modulation signal as example for the description, both with a main carrier at 10 gigs, tone in frequency domain, and for the amplitude modulated modulation, on the left a sine, okay, and on the right a square wave. So on the left, the carrier and the amplitude information are sinus, therefore, following the Fourier transfer, we will have the spectrum of a sinus, a tone, low side and upper side band, located around the carrier frequency tone at 10 gigs. On the right, carrier is sinus and modulation information is pulse in time. Therefore, Fourier transform a sync located around the carrier tone at 10 gigs. Sync signals present this shape, kind of a triangular shape, shaping these tones. So please Google sync signal, you will understand. We won't really dig into the advantage or disadvantages of each modulation. This requires a whole course, and the goal of this course is a high-level concept for electronic warfare.